Welcome to the very last part of the lemon cow video. Here we are going to add shadows to the grass and we are going to erase certain parts of the feet so it looks like the cow is actually standing in the grass. I'm going to go ahead and start by zooming in and moving to the area where the cow's feet are. I think I'll start with the front. So I know this is the right part of the cow. So I want to be clicked on the cow right layer first. Now you guys are going to hear me talk about smart objects a lot, but because this is a smart object, again, we can't make any direct changes to the actual picture. If I try taking my eraser right now and doing anything, I'm going to get this notification. Photop.com says smart object must be rasterized first. Rasterized? No, we do not want to do this. So we are going to click cancel. If this happens to you, it means that you have selected the actual layer instead of the mask. So before we start using the eraser or do anything to this layer, you want to make sure that you are clicked on the mask of this layer, which is again that little black rectangle. So I'm gonna click on the mask. You'll know that it's selected because you see this white dotted line around it. Then I'm going to go to my toolbar and I'm going to find the eraser tool. If you have a hard time finding it, it is just E on your keyboard. So if I were on my move tool and I press E, you would get one of two tools you would either get the regular eraser tool or you would get the background eraser. You want to make sure that you click on the regular old eraser tool, which kind of looks like an old school eraser. Once you're on this tool, we are going to adjust the brush size because as you can see right now, this brush is way too big for the erasing that I want to do. I want to make this brush much smaller. The easiest way to do that is actually to use the brackets on your keyboard. I'll include a little text overlay on this video to show you what brackets are. They're kind of like parentheses but they're more squared on the edges. So the left bracket makes my brush smaller and the right bracket makes my brush larger. This is the absolute fastest way to change your brush size really quickly. And the other way to do it manually is by going to the very top left of Photopea and then right next to the little eraser icon, there's a number and the, a circle here. You want to click that and you can manually click and drag this bar to make it a, a larger brush or smaller brush. For our purposes also, we want to make sure that hardness is set to 100. The harder the brush, the sharper the edge of the brush. If I were to have a brush that was 0% hardness, it would be a really soft, airbrushy type of brush. So we just want to make sure it's set to 100. And let's set the size to about 5. But again, you can kind of eyeball it. And then I will just click back to the eraser tool and zoom in nice and close. So keep in mind, we are on the right side of the cow. We are clicked on the mask layer for cow right. And we are on the eraser tool with a really small brush. Now I'm going to just start clicking and dragging to create this illusion of the cow standing inside of the grassy field. You don't have to be like really particular with this. Just kind of make it look like he's standing in the grass. As you're going, if you want to make your brush smaller too and make it more realistic, you totally can. I'll just use a smaller brush now and draw these lines in. And then I'll do the same with this other foot. Maybe make my brush a little bigger. This is a really just convenient way of changing your brush size is uh, using those brackets. So make sure you're taking advantage of that. And then I'll make my brush smaller and add some extra blades of grass like so. 
So I'm gonna zoom out and just see how that looks. And from far away, I think that looks pretty realistic actually. It does look like the cow is standing in the grass. So I'm gonna just move on and do the exact same thing to the left side of the cow now. I'm going to click on the cow left layer. And again, make sure that you click on the mask, not the actual layer. So just click right on top of this white rectangle. And now just zoom in like we did before on the left side. And we're gonna do the exact same thing. Not bad. Okay, so now it does look a little more like the cow is actually standing in these blades of grass as opposed to just floating on top. And the very last thing that we need to do is add a shadow underneath this cow to make it look like he's really standing there and that the light is coming down from directly on top of her. So I'm going to go ahead and make a brand new layer. Remember to do that, you just click on this new layer button at the very bottom right of the layer panel. It looks like a sticky note with a fold. And I'm going to move this layer right on top of the background layer. So I'll just click and drag it right on top of background and I'll go ahead and rename it shadow. We are going to really simply add a shadow to this cow by using the brush tool. The brush tool is in your toolbar. It's right underneath what looks like a little band-aid. It just looks like a regular old paintbrush and the shortcut to access it is B as in boy on your keyboard. Once you've accessed the brush tool, we're going to do a couple of different things. First, we need to change the color that we're painting with. And to do that, we're just going to click on this rectangle at the bottom of our toolbar. The very first one, not the second one. So we're just going to click it. And we are going to select a black color just by clicking and dragging all the way to the bottom left or bottom right and then press OK. So now the color we're painting with is black. Next, we want to change our brush settings. So at the very top left, directly under Edit, there's this little drop-down menu that we want to click. And we are now going to change the hardness of the brush to from 100% to 20%. So we want it to be a soft brush, but we don't want it to be completely airbrush soft. So I'm going to set it to 20 and I'll decide on the size later. That's not really important right now. Lastly, before we start painting, we are going to change the opacity from 100 to 15 percent. Opacity just tells you how opaque your paint is going to be. So if something has 100 percent opacity, you can't see through it. It's completely flat and opaque. If something has less opacity, it becomes more and more transparent. So 15% means you can only really see 15% of the color you're putting down. Everything else is transparent. So once you've changed all of those settings, we are now ready to paint. I'm going to zoom into my image. Not too much, but just enough. And I'm going to make my brush a little bit larger. Right now it is quite small. So I'll just use my right bracket to make it bigger. And I'm gonna go ahead and start kind of brushing this black shadow underneath the cow. Double check if you haven't already and make sure that you're on that shadow layer. If you try painting on any of the other layers, you're gonna get different results and you might even get something that says like, do you wanna rasterize the layer? And obviously you don't. We want to just make sure we're painting on the shadow layer. I'm not going to make this shadow too dark or obvious. I'm just going to be kind of soft with it. And there should also be a shadow under the head. So I'll kind of make that up. And I think this is dark enough. For my purposes, you can always zoom out and double check. I think that looks pretty decent. Now, the very, very last thing that we are going to do to this image before we turn it in 
is change the way that this layer is blending on top of the grass or on top of this background layer. To change the way that your layer is blending, what you would do is just click on this little drop down menu that says normal and you're going to see all of these different options like darken, multiply, lighten, screen, blah, blah, blah. In any other Photoshop document, it's really cool playing around with these layers to see how they can blend with other ones because it gives you really interesting effects. In this case, we just want to set it to soft light. And it's going to give you a little bit more of a realistic shadow underneath your cow. If you feel that this shadow has gotten a little bit too light, you can always feel free to keep brushing and make it a little bit darker while you've already set it to that soft light option. That's kind of cool because you can see how it's going to end up. You can probably hear that I'm clicking a lot because I want it to be quite a bit darker. And I'll do my final zoom out and see if I'm happy with this image. I think it looks pretty good. It looks semi-realistic, but again, cows that are lemon on the inside don't really exist as far as I know. But that is it for this project. Once you're done, go ahead and just save it. Make sure that your file is renamed to last name underscore first name underscore project title, which in this case is lemon cow, and you are good to turn it in. I'll see you guys on the next exercise.